Hey there folks, this is Hellbent and it's time for this week's free auto clicker. So before I jump into that, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know what takes a long time to do? Well, I'll tell you, writing these programs for you takes a long time to do, but you know what doesn't take any time at all? Clicking that like button. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into it. I'm just going to go ahead and run this week's auto clicker. And if you would like to get a copy of this, you're going to need to have auto hotkey. If you don't have auto hotkey, you can just look up auto hotkey on Google, click on their site. Let me get that out of the way. And click download and then the installer. And then once you've done that, there will be a link in the description of this video to a pastebin file of where you can get a copy of this. So there's going to be no download other than if you don't have auto hotkey. So with that out of the way, so I'll do a quick demo of this week's auto clicker. So we got a five in one. So we have five independent auto clickers that work in unison and we can set up one at a time, two at a time, three at a time, however many we want. We have a bunch of different options. Okay, so let's go through it. So always on top means that if I, cl if I click it off, if I click on the page, it'll bury the auto clicker. If I have it on, it'll stay on top. Easy stuff. Okay, for the auto clickers themselves, let's go through it. So <clears throat> in order for each auto clicker to work, it has to have be turned on. It has to have a position of where it's going to click. And so let me just set up a few quick locations. A number of clicks for each auto clicker, and it's going to do them in sequence. So if I set this one up to... 33 it'll do 33 clicks before it goes to the next one so I'm just going to set this up to let's say 5 5 5 and 5 and I have locations okay now that that's out of the way this is just going to click on its own it's not going to loop so once it's finished with this very last auto clicker it's going to stop um, if I want a specific delay in between clicks, so if I want it to click faster or slower in between each click, I can do that by setting a just click delay. And pretty much you're always going to have to use this because its default is like super, super fast. So let's see how fast that is. It's done. It's done. If I set, Let's see if I set this up to 55 and 55. So I've added an extra 100 clicks. Let's see how fast it goes through that. And it's done it's done let's add another 500 clicks to that and it's done so as you can see it's uh, pretty fast and most of the things that you're going to use it on you're going to have to slow it down in other words those clicks aren't going to get registered so you just click adjust click delay and then in milliseconds add a delay uh, for most things about 30 milliseconds is fine but uh, you can play around with this value I'm going to do uh, 33 milliseconds and we will, I don't want this because that'll take too long. Let's try 33. All right, and then I just set it, and it'll go through that and then finish. Now, what if I want to do that over and over again? So obviously, um, I'm going to need to add in a loop. And what I'm going to do for this is I have a whole bunch of planets, and each of them I would have to go through and click on it and then go to the next planetary system and then click on it and then as my money would increase I would have to continue to go through it over and over and over again so that's a pain in the ass I don't want to do that so I'm gonna have this loop and I'm gonna set up those positions and then the last position is just gonna switch planets they're all on. I'm going to set this to click once each. And like I said, I haven't, I haven't actually, I'm not going to do it with the loop. So first time it's just going to do boom. I'll do it again. Boom. If I wanted to do that over and over again, I add in my loop. And I'm just going to loop 30, 30 times. And everything looks good. So I'm going to start. And there we go.
And if I want to do that for hours on end, all I have to do is I just set this to zero and it'll click infinite amount of times. And it'll keep going and going and going. Now with this auto clicker, I haven't added a way for you to cancel the loop. So what you'll have to do is press control Z and the hotkeys are located by pressing info. So we have control plus Z to exit. Con to pause, sorry, control plus C to pause, control plus X to exit. And if we want to set, like I said, if you want to set this to infinite, you just press zero. So let's say I want to change that back to a specific number of loops. Um, what I'd have to do is hit reset. So I'll do that, reset, and I'll have to set my positions up again but there's other things that we can do and I'll show you those so I'm going to turn all the auto clickers on have them click once okay so with this next one so let's assume that I've set up an auto clicker with let's say 333 loops so it's going to loop through this 333 times I start it and then I decide for some reason I don't want it to loop those for 333 times. I have a few options. I'm going to press pause by compressing control Z and I can either turn off all these auto clickers and then it'll loop through those faster. So I'm going to press control Z to unpause it again and now it's not clicking anything and it's done. Okay so it's done now I can reset it to whatever value I want and turn them back on and start it again. Now let's say that I have it set up for a long duration and then for some reason, so I'm going to start this, and then for some reason I decide that I don't want all five of them going at once. All I have to do is press control Z and then I can turn off or on as many of them as I want. So it's only going to do the first one and the last one I press control Z to start it again and there we go okay what else can we do if for example I suddenly want to actually leave them all on but I want to change the number of clicks for a specific target all I have to do is just change it in here and then once I press control Z it'll update that value so now it'll do that third one 22 times before moving on now let's say that for some reason I don't want to use this target anymore so I've paused it and I just press get position and I can pick another target and then as soon as I press control Z it'll use that new target instead of that last one okay I think that's everything that you need to know so let me show you how to get this and run it I think everything I've gone over everything if I didn't go over anything just leave a comment down below and I'll uh, try to help you out with that okay so let's get our cop our new copy like I said to get this you need auto hotkey then you're gonna go to this pastebin file which the link will be in the description now thanks to somebody last week um, in one of the in the last week's um, free auto clicker they informed me a faster way of copying all this stuff because it's a pain in the ass to click and drag so all you have to do is go down to the raw file down at the bottom okay so here we go so we see raw paste data we're gonna click in there and then press control plus a and that'll highlight it all and then control plus C to copy that and then we're just gonna open up a blank notepad we're going to go to file save as and I already have a target that I want it to go so you're going to pick where you want to save it I'm going to go to a temp folder and you're just going to paste it in I'm sorry you're going to change the name you're going to name this whatever you want so this is a five in one auto clicker so that's a good enough name five in one and because I actually have another one named this way I'm just gonna add some whatever 
So after your name, you're just going to type in dot ahk to make it an auto hotkey executable. Save. Come to your new file. Paste in by pressing Control V. Paste in. Press File, Save, and then it's ready to go. So now that that's out of the way, I can actually close that. And I can go to the location that it saved, and I saved it to a temp folder. So I'm just going to click on that, and I will see my new auto clicker. To run it, all I have to do is double click on it, or I can right click on it, and at the very top, it'll say run script. So I'm going to do that, hit run script, and here we go. And once again, you can just go and set it up to use however you want. So I'm just going to do one more time. Why not? On, I'm going to change these to one each. Now, unlike, unlike this one up here where I can use zero to have infinite amount of clicks, having infinite amount of clicks here wouldn't make any sense. So if you have zero in any of these, they won't work. Only up here, the zero will work. Likewise here, this zero works here, but whatever. I'm going to loop this 44. I'm going to do 11. Everything's set, so I'll press start. And there we go. Okay, so I will see you next week with next week's free auto clicker. Um, be sure to leave that like and subscribe if you want to be... I'm um, kept up to date with the new auto clickers, and I'll see you on the next one.